I've just entered the world's deadliest tunnel system. Down here, there are hundreds of miles of unexplored tunnels. And many explorers that come down here have never been seen again. And 30 years ago, this very thing happened. An explorer went missing and dropped a camera showing his last known location. But to this very day, he has never been found. We're going to investigate what happened to him. This is one of the most nerve wracking things we've ever done. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm walking into the abyss right now. Oh my gosh. There is something very eerie about just continually walking into a dark corridor that you have no idea what's down there. And not only that, you know that it just spans for miles. If we didn't have these guides here, we would be so Screw. These guys know all the sections, but no one knows the whole place. And the part that we're trying to get to is incredibly deep. Dara, could you navigate your way out? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that's why I'm scared. Like, if they leave us, we're dead. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not. Yeah, we need to keep up with that. <laughs> The guy who went missing left these clues to his location with these markings on the wall. Where is this? I don't know. We can try to find we it. We can try finding it. This is hours away just to get to this area that possibly this guy could have been in. Oh, we've got a, a mystery to solve. We then trekked hours into level one of the catacombs, reaching many checkpoints such as Chateau. So, what, this is like the first checkpoint or something? Yeah. La Plage. Second checkpoint. We're getting deeper. But next up, we had crawls. Oh my god. Long hallways. This place is a maze. You could go that way, that way, <laughs> that way. I can't believe how deep we are. We literally have to crawl through this hole to like get into the next segment. And finally, we were ready to descend into level two of the catacombs. We've made it to the cracking room. Apparently that's good. The deeper we go, the scarier this kind of gets. Oh wow. Okay, so oh my god. Someone literally lives there. That is a bit scary. We should not sit here. Although we're crazy deep there, somehow there's someone that lives down here. The scariest part about being down here is the people who run like running. What you may not know is it's incredibly dangerous to be a foreigner with a camera down here. They are often attacked, robbed, and left to die by the people that live here. And we were about to bump into them. Okay, there's someone. There's someone. All good? All good? We hidden the camera because yeah, other people might be able to. So there's some people coming up behind us? People we don't know, and um, that's kind of scary. We needed to get to safety, so our guides checked out a new route. It goes directly where we want to go. The only problem is it's a very tight crawl. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. And we had no idea what was waiting for us on the other side. Okay, we're in a dangerous spot right now, for sure. Very dangerous. There's bits falling down around here. Oh, just, just keep moving, don't think about it. Our crawl brought us to safety, but it also brought us to where our missing person started losing his mind. Oh, wow. Oh my God. There are bones here. I feel like I need to be extra careful where I step, just because like, these are actually human bones. Bro. Oh my God, this is kind of freaky. This is not hundreds, this is thousands of, of bodies. There are over 7 million people who died of the Black Plague down in the catacombs when France literally ran out of space to bury the bodies. Oh my God, Matt, this is a bit in intense. <sighs> this one definitely makes me feel a little bit sick. Hip bones everywhere, legs, arms. If this guy was lost down here, I, um, by himself, I can kind of understand. I think it mentally would drive you crazy as well. We have to keep going and go even further to find where this guy was. This is intense. This guy went super, super far. We pushed further into the endless tunnels, and it wasn't long before we found the first clue to where our missing person might have gone. Guys! Oh. That's one of them! That's one of them! Oh my god! This is, this is super important. Right. No way. It's the exact same thing. This is literally the thing that was in the video. Like this exact, um, this exact painting. So we're getting closer. First bit of evidence that we could be getting close to the to the area that this guy got lost. And then the evidence kept coming. It's quite interesting, man, I gotta say. This is our third man. This is our third white man. White man in a different pose there. And this, this definitely looks similar to the video. Since we were on the right track, we studied the missing guy's video once more, and we noticed something we hadn't before. Wait, is that a blur? It seems blurred. Is it looks blurred? really blurred. It does blurred. actually, doesn't it? They've definitely blurred it. Yes. But did the documentary blur it? I don't know. I think, the guy, I think that because if we had this number, yeah, we, we, would find it right we can find it right away. We noticed that the footage from Clue 2 has been deliberately blurred, suggesting that the documentarian who found the camera 30 years ago is trying to hide the last location. We had no idea why he would try to hide this, and we were beginning to 
run out of time. The batteries just run out, so lights are starting to get low. For our time down here is limited by how much light and batteries we have at this point. Otherwise, we're like stuck completely. We couldn't waste any time. If we wanted to find this guy, we had to go deeper, and it was clear that he had run into the deepest section of the catacombs, the totally uncharted area where even our guides had never been. Yeah, we can show you some place from the my from the. Uh, the level beneath us, again, yeah. this is the second level underneath. Down there was going to be very dangerous for us. We needed to be sure that this was the right decision. The place is mesmerizing, but I'm terrified. When you hear the stories of the, what, what can happen when you get lost, if you meet the wrong people, aren't you guys sadly scared? We're, we're too old to be totally screwed with what happened. Yeah. So it actually feels a bit weird for us to just be congregating ourselves and not be with the guides. So in case they let's, let's, then let's go back. And with that, we decided to do it. Right, so we're going to go to basically the deepest level now. We're going to take a look and see See if there's anything we recognize from that video. Oh yeah, this goes deep. Wow. Literally gone into the unmapped segment. This entire area, there are no maps. No one knows where to go down here. No one knows how big it is. And this is where this guy, it looks like, it looks like we're getting closer. This is almost as deep as it goes. And once we entered down there, we found an even greater clue. This is the same uh, paint than the Z in the video. I know that because I've seen the, the real Z in the real life. Yeah, this is, this is the part where it got freaky because this is the part of the minus two that I don't have enough in never been here. Let's hope this is the way. We've gone to a segment where there's literally no graffiti. Even the guides don't know where we are about this point, right? I have no idea where we are. 1864. Wow. This, that, this makes me feel that we're getting closer. Yeah, it seems, it seems endless. It never stops. stops. As we got deeper, our guides got spooked. If there's someone who's been down there, it could be true that he got lost. I don't have a map for this port. I don't know. It got, it's endless. This was probably the moment we should have turned around, but we decided to go even deeper. Okay, we're going serious uncharted right now. We've gone so deep that the guides do not know, that never knew this existed, this entire section. Getting caught by anyone in this section could be a death sentence. We needed to be incredibly careful, and that was when... Guys, guys, guys. I thought I heard something. We had been found. Go, go, go. We've been told just to move. I think we're so deep that we might be in, might be in a civilization area. We've literally gone too deep. The guides have gone spooked. See if I'm telling you people. I'm a little bit shook right now, not gonna lie. We were sprinting down the corridors looking for an exit and we started getting confused. This was really bad. Are we okay? What's... Let me go in front. Yeah. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. You remember? Cool. Yeah. Then eventually, we found the right stairs. <laughs> Everyone okay? No. I had a bit of a pain. So there were actually people down there? Yeah, I know the people down there it is. I, don't know so, uh, I mean, I never met them. But I heard some stories. It's just, it's just, it's just up people. Oh god. So we've possibly run into the people you don't want to run into. It was looking like that was where he could have been. Who was? Like if someone got lost down there, they're 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 fucked, right? Yeah, we gotta get out of there. Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was intense. Yeah, Let's not scared. die. We must have been within minutes of the last known location of the missing guy. Yeah, we've been as deep as that guy for sure. But it is so incredibly dangerous down there, and the risk of getting attacked means I'm left with one conclusion on what has happened to this guy. He could still be down there to this very day. It is scarily, scarily vast down there. And if anyone made a wrong turn down there, you could legitimately just be lost forever. 